Hello guys, today in this video I will show you step by step installation of Kali Linux Net Hunter without any error and especially this is offline installation. So let's get started. Very first thing you guys will need to download these two applications which are files and Net Hunter kicks from the description down below. And also make sure to install them into your device. And next go to Play Store and also download Termux as well. And the last thing to download is Kali Linux iOS file and the Bass script. I will link both of this file on my description down below on my website. So go ahead and download them easily. The iOS file is gigantic, it's huge, it's 3 gigabytes. So you need to drink some coffee while it's downloading. And here you guys need files application because you can use this file manager directly to navigate Termux storage. And trust me, this is going to help you a lot while copying files in Termux storage. Now after you guys have downloaded all the necessary file, open up the Termux. Here I'm about to show you the offline installation process. So we don't need to update Termux repository and we are not going to use double git as well. Note guys, all of these commands that I have used on Termux are case sensitive. So make sure to type exactly or just copy and paste from my website. So let's set up stories by executing this command. Termux hyphen setup hyphen storage now tap on enter and tap on allow now type alias to confirm that you have set up the storage now as you guys have set up the storage you guys need to go back and open up the file manager application and navigate to the downloaded folder and then copy both of this file by tapping on three dot icon and then tap on copy to then tap on the burger icon, then you should see Termux. So tap on Termux again, then simply copy both of these files in the root directory of Termux. And now it's going to take some time as you guys can see here. Now we have a both file pasted in Termux. You can also check from Termux by executing the ls command. Now you can see that we have a script file here. So we need to make this script file executable so that we can easily install Kali Linux Net Hunter. To make it executable, you need to execute this command. chmod space plus x space install and you can tap on this icon which by means it's a tab button on your keyboard so that you don't need to type all of the file names. Now tap on enter. So as you can see that by typing ls command again, we can see the script has been executable and its color has been changed to green. As I have told you, this is a bash file. So to execute this bash file in Termux, all you need to do is type dot forward slash install and then press on tab to fill in all the names of the script file. And now tap on enter and boom, there we go. We have not used duplicate or update our Termux repository. Now we are installing this without any hassle of error stuff. Right now the script is running to verify our ISO file, but this is also going to take some time, maybe a minute. So patience is needed here and also don't turn off your screen and don't run any application in background. Let your phone remain still. Okay. Now after you guys see those matrix lines, it's going to give you pop up blue line question. Existing image file found, do you want to delete the file and download a new one? So this is a very important step here. So just press N because we have already downloaded the Kali Linux ISO file. If you press Y, it will download the ISO file again, but I'm pretty sure you will end up with getting an error stuff. So just press N, it's totally fine. After pressing N, this is going to extract the ISO file and it's going to take ton of time, maybe more than 20 minutes. After finishing, it's going to ask you again, do you want to delete the root FS file or not? So if you want to save storage and delete the ISO file, then you can press it. So press Y, if no, then press N. Well, you already have an ISO file in the downloaded folder, so it's good to delete. So press Y. Now you guys are in a Kali Linux NetHunter shell. To start Kali NetHunter, simply type NetHunter. Now to set up the GUI, you will need to set up Kex password first. So type Kex P A S S W D, and type your desired password and verify it. It's still going to ask you one more time to view only password. So type Y and repeat the same password and verify it again. As we have set up the Kex, 
Now we can launch the GUI of Kali Linux NetHunter. To start a GUI, execute this command kex space and and press on enter. Now this is going to start a VNC server for you and you can see the display RFP port. Now open up the NetHunter kex application. Make sure that it's on local host and type your kex password here then press on connect. Well guys, there we go. We are on a fully functional Kali Linux NetHunter desktop GUI mod. Now you can launch all the tools, use them against your WIS. Well, I'm not responsible for your bad behavior by hacking someone's data or breaching. So use it wisely. You can also learn its tool from YouTube. There are tons of tutorial regarding Kali Linux. Keep learning Kali Linux and its tools. The password for the root is K A. L I. Now to stop the VNC server, go back to the terminal and type kex space stop. Well guys, that's it. I hope you found this video more useful. Check out this playlist for more Kali Linux tutorial just like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.